Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, we need to take a little bit of a look at a brand new product which is going to be confirmed by a distributor, and this one could be exactly what we've been waiting for. Now, this was shown me by the probably Primal Lugia, and essentially it is a V figure box which is coming out on the 6th of May 2022, and it features a collector tin measuring 11.4 centimeters in diameter, featuring iconic Pokeball designs, and each box includes four booster packs a character figurine, a promo card, and a, a code card. Fine, brilliant, lovely. It does weird me out that it's listed as a code card for the Pokemon card game online, not for Pokemon TCG Live, because obviously nowadays we have switched over. It's live that is getting the code cards nowadays, not PDCGO, but that could be an oversight or it could be a million different things. I wouldn't worry too much about it. The point is... We're getting a figurine collection. The question is, what's the figurine? And more importantly, what's the card? Because the thing is, there's a million different Pokemon V out there that Japan get before we do, that they get as promos and things of that nature. And then we kind of, you know, sit and chill and wait for them to be released. That happens all the time. That is in, in no way, shape or form a weird thing. Pretty standard. Japan gets a Pokemon V. I mean, the most recent one we saw was Infernape V in the most recent gym card set. And they often end up coming over here as promos. Not all the time. Can't say that for certain. But they often do come over here as promos. Of course, lately, Pokemon are going a slightly different route. You know, if you look at something like the Hooper box, that was literally just removed from Fusion Strike. And the regular version, but the full art version was still in Fusion Strike. That was a little bit weird. But we got a long history of Japanese promo Pokemon V and GX and things of that nature coming over here as promos in boxes, and that's absolutely fine. The thing is, we, we have our regular boxes. Our regular boxes are four packs, card, jumbo card. That is our general V box. This is not that. This is something different. This is a figure box that still has the four packs and still has the Pokemon V. But essentially what they've done is taken out the Jumbo and put a figure in. Which is weird because a while ago this is basically what happened between North America and Europe. Where North America would get a version with a little figure and we'd get a version with a Jumbo. And it was because of EU rules on plastics and all of that stuff. They weren't allowed to send them over here. Or at least that's how the rumor went. So, what's this going to be? It could be Infernape V. It absolutely could. I don't think it would be. Because nowadays they tend to get V-Box or just be popped into sets. I don't think that's likely. Possible. Absolutely possible. I don't think it's Infernape. Of course, Infernape is one of the first partner Pokemon from Gen 4. And we all know that we have gone full Gen 4 at the moment. You know, we've just had the remakes of, I say just, a couple of months ago we had Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, the actual Gen 4 remakes. And then just this past weekend we saw the release of Legends Arceus, which is not, you know, full Gen 4. There's Pokemon from other generations. We know that. That was all in the pre-release material. We are still in a very much no-spoiler zone for Legends Arceus. So, you know, is Infernape in Legends Arceus? Is Infernape not in Legends Arceus? Not the point, ladies and gentlemen. It's not the point. The point is, we are celebrating Gen 4 at the moment. So something like Infernape would work, but I don't think it's Infernape. Now, what I would like it to be and what a lot of people like it to be, and what it is probably most likely to be, is Arceus. And I have my own issues with this, quite frankly, ladies and gentlemen. I have my own issues with this. Because we don't really know what's going on. You see, over in Japan, and I, I did videos about the pre-release bonuses for Arceus. Weirdly, those videos did way better than I expected. I'm a very happy boy. But the best pre-release promo, as far as I'm concerned, the best pre-release gift or bonus or call it what you will, was the Arceus V promo card that was an early purchase bonus over in Japan. What that essentially means is no matter where you pre-ordered it from Japan, you should have got that. Now, you should have pre-ordered it if you're pre-ordering in Japan, as far as I'm concerned. 
from the Pokemon Center online because that also gave you an art book and those art books are cool. But the point is, there was that promo and we've heard nothing. And initially, when we first saw that card, I went, right, that's a brand new, never before seen. The phrase I like to use on this channel is mechanically unique card. So we have to be getting it at some point. I mean, I say that, but over in Celebrations, obviously, we got Lance's Charizard V and Dark Sylveon V. And those cards are still nowhere to be seen in Japan. They are mechanically unique. They are not like any cards that are in any other set. They are legal for tournament play, and they have a regulation mark. And okay, fine, they're not good, but they could be in the future. They're not bad enough that they will never be good, so that makes me a little bit nervous. Of course, we could also mention Special Delivery Bidoof, which is a mechanically unique card, which has never been released outside of the USA, or North America, and almost certainly never will be, and it is legal for tournament play, but it's also clearly an absolutely terrible card that will never be good, so we don't particularly care. The point is, that's not what Arceus is. It is just an alternate art reprint of the Arceus as coming in Brilliant Stars. So we don't need this promo. And I've made the argument a few times on this channel. I don't know why we would get that promo in like May. That is clearly a promo to promote the release of the game. It is clearly showing artwork from the game. It is stamped with the logo of the game. I don't get releasing it four months after the... Oh, three and a half months. Uh, just over three. After the release of the game. I just don't. That doesn't make sense to me. But it is a Pokemon V that's missing. At least an artwork. And it's the kind of one that would get its own box. Whereas I don't think Infernate would. And what about the figurine? Well, one of the pre-order bonuses over in the UK was an Arceus figure. You got it when you ordered from the Nintendo store, and I believe also game. But I've not seen that figure in other regions. I know certainly in North America that wasn't available. I think maybe other places in Europe it was. But the point is, we had an Arceus figure in Europe that was released to commemorate the game. Incidentally, you also got a Steelbook. The Steelbook is rad. And while we're talking pre-order bonuses, because I've spent way, way too much time looking into this stuff, it is important to note that if you are in the UK, there was a correct answer here. And the correct answer was ordering from Amazon and getting the Hisuian Pokeball, which can fit like three Switch games in or something. So yeah, that, that, was, that was the correct answer. Also got you the Steelbook. Point is, that would work. We've got a figurine. It could be that same figurine. And we've got a promo card. It could be that promo. Let's be perfectly clear. There is nothing to actually suggest it is Arceus. There is nothing to suggest it is this card. We do not have any information that it is this card. Maybe it's the most likely. Maybe it's wish casting. I don't really know. I pre-ordered a Japanese version just for the card and the art book. I love this card. I would love it to see an English language release. That would make me very happy. Maybe they would release it, but not stamp it with the game. Because again, stamping it with the game's logo is really saying, hey, this is a promo for the game. I could see this being reprinted without the logo over here. So it was more of just an alternate art Arceus card rather than really hardcore tying into the game. Although the artwork is always going to tie into the game. I still think it's weird to release it months after the release of the game but they could and honestly that's about the most likely because that's the main one we're missing now obviously we did see the lucario v star box the other day and that is actually being packaged with the full art lucario which has actually not been revealed in japan which yeah which is a little bit weird so maybe what they do is they go full art arceus or maybe even the special art arceus from starbirth what Japan's equivalent of Brilliant Starts. And maybe they go that way. Maybe instead of taking the regular art out, they take the special art or the full art out, really make it a good figurine collection. That is absolutely a possibility. That's something they could do. The fact of the matter is, and I do need to be perfectly clear about this as we're finishing off here, this is confirmed, essentially. We've got a distributor listing, and they invariably end up being real. But the listing is for... A V-figure box. That's it. 
Now, if you want to really go down the rabbit hole, the fact that the tin features iconic Pokeball designs does make me think it is more of a general Pokemon, and you don't get much more general than the Pokemon that created the world. And is basically every type, or any type you want it to be. I don't know. This seems like the most likely for me. It's not been confirmed. But just please remember, even if it is an Arceus box, don't assume it is definitely going to be the alternate art, which was a pre-release promo over in Japan. It could just as easily be the full art or the special art from Starbirth. I, however, am very much crossing my fingers it is, because I would love to have a Japanese and an English version of this. So there we go. Now it's over to you guys. I've given you my thoughts. I've told you what we know. Now I want to hear from you guys. Do you think it's going to be that Arceus or do you think it's going to be something else? Let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio. Well, you can do exactly that. But by far, the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.